And we start with breaking news. Tonight, new information from neighbors on the search for a missing little boy. An Amber Alert continues for 10-year-old Ian Aguilar and his father, Juan Aguilar Cano. Police say Cano is suspected of killing Ian's mother and believe the 10-year-old could be in danger. Both Ian and his father were reported missing in Wilmer, about 20 miles southeast of downtown Dallas. Janelle Fort joins us live now. And Janelle, you spoke with neighbors about what happened. Well, yeah, neighbors told me that they would have never expected this to happen with this family. They tell me they're shocked, they're saddened, and they're just praying for Ian's safe return home. The home at the center of this investigation, both the Amber Alert and the homicide, is right back here. We saw some of Ian's family here about an hour ago. They told us they're not quite ready to talk. The neighbors say yesterday afternoon, Ian's older sister came to the house, began banging on windows and doors, and eventually broke in and found her mom dead. Police were out here until around 1130 last night investigating. We are still working to learn more details. But that discovery, it came hours after the Amber Alert went out yesterday morning. Ian's father, 38-year-old Juan Aguilar Cano, is the suspect in both cases. The pair were last seen in a gold Chevy Tahoe yesterday morning. That truck was found abandoned in Houston but no signs of the pair. I want him to find, come home safe and sound, you know, like hopefully to his family members because, you know, he doesn't have a mother, which is going to be sad because he was always with his mom. You know, he's seen our dogs. He was very playful, wanting to play with them and stuff like that. He seemed like a very sweet kid. Now, again, Ian is about four feet tall. He's got black hair and brown eyes. His father is about 5'7", 160 pounds, and police are asking if you have any information about their whereabouts that you contact authorities. It. Reporting here in Wilmer, I'm Janelle Fort.